fight, the urge to click on certain web articles, you know, um, seven ways to lose weight in five minutes, eating layer cake, they're known as clickbait and they are hooking us all. Why fake stories are making the internet a real mess. We're breaking it down. Ooh, I gotta read that. That looks good. Life changing. I have to read that now. Ugh. What? Really? Yep. Clickbait. Giving us the scoop on this trend is journalism professor Don Gilpin. First, what exactly is clickbait? What is flipcake? Clickbait. Clickbait is internet content that has some kind of headline that tries to coerce or manipulate you into clicking on it, but the actual content doesn't matter. It's kind of the empty calories of the internet. One example of a clickbait headline that I've seen is there's a world war happening right now and you might be a mercenary in it. When you click on it, it's about the importance of having a strong password. Kind of a letdown. A letdown, sure, but clickbait is harmless, right? Clickbait is having a really negative impact on journalism. People are already trusting the media less, and these kind of tactics just diminish the credibility even further. I think the biggest offender is actually the Huffington Post because it tries to present itself as a serious journalism site, and so using these kind of clickbaity tactics contributes to this problem. So how can we avoid the old bait and switch? You can tell that it's clickbait if it's vague, if it promises some kind of surprise, or if there's clearly a ploy to get you to watch a video up until a certain point. A good headline should be informative and tell you what an article is about. So if it doesn't, that's a sign it's probably clickbait. A man and his dog go to the park and you won't believe what they find must click. A squirrel. Internet. I, I blame myself. Cracking down on clickbait on The Breakdown. You won't believe what happens next. It will blow your mind and be the best part of your